Hello everyone, Pokemon Freak 16 here with another Wi-Fi battle for you and this is versus the Silent R from YouTube. I'll put his link in the description box so you can check him out. He has pretty good videos and it's a good battler. So be sure to check him out. And let the battle begin. So I lead off with Infernape and he leads off with Unfan. My Infernape is Scarf so I U-turn and see what he's gonna do. I think he's gonna set up self Rocks. So I'm going to uh, send out uh, my Latias. Yeah, so he sets up the stealth rock and he can't do anything about the dome fence. So I'm going to set up the reflect. Just because I can. So he sends out a Malotic shiny. It's pretty nice. So I call mine up. Don't expect anything but he toxic. So that's very bad. I didn't expect that. Because I haven't met any Malotic before. I know it knows Hypnosis, but I forgot it knows uh, Toxic too. So the Ice Beans doesn't do a whole lot to Larias after he called Mind. And I should really have predicted this switch to Domefen. I was so going to use Dragon Pulse, but I didn't want to risk it. But I, I just... Mm, it was so close that I used the Dragon Pulse there. But I will switch now. Because I, I don't want to use Dragon Pulse for some reason. No, he switches as well to a Malotic. So that's pretty nice. So I can just Seed Flare it. And that will take down uh, my Lotic. And uh, yeah. It's looking pretty good now. So he sends out the Flygon Scarfed, I think. So I, I will switch now to my Fiscal Wall. Drapion and U turn doesn't do a whole lot to Drapion. So he sends out the Starmie. I don't wanna I don't wanna stay in on it because I pro thinking that it's probably choice specs or life orbed. So I got the Ladias, more so Death Father, he ice beams and that takes down uh, Ladias. So I go to Infernape thinking that it's specs and he switches, so it is Specs or Scarf. But I U turn just in case. And it sends out Dome Fan, doesn't do a whole lot of Dome Fan, but I send out Shamin and I will go for the Seed Flare again. Just because I can. That will do a whole lot to anything that he switches out to. And that does a whole lot to Flygon, almost chaos it, but I, w I would switch because I expect the uh, U turn. But he outrages, with, which is even better because now I can just finish off with the bullet punch with Scizor. And Scizor is actually my favorite Pokemon of the second generation. I haven't gone around to get one, but now I has. And this Scizor is so choice banded and it's awesome. So I go out to Suicune, but he makes a really good prediction and go for a Thunderbolt. And uh, that takes Suicune down quite a bit. And here I think yeah, about switching, but I just leave uh, Suicune in as the Death Father. So yeah, it's not looking too great now. So I go to my Chamin because I know he's locked into uh, into Thunderbolt. <laughs> so I go for Seal Flare, but he switches to a Scizor, and I have to switch now. I can't stay in with Chamin. So I go to my Infernape. I see Swarsh dances, and this is really, really bad. I can't, I don't have an encounter to Scizor, basically. He gets a crit on a bullet punch, but he said it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going, <laughs> basically, I'm going to be swept now by this Scizor, because I can't do anything about it. So we'll just go for the bullet punch, maybe get a crit, but it didn't matter. Even if I got a crit, it didn't matter. So Scizor goes down. <laughs> so so now Drapion. He bullet punches. And down goes Drapion. And I just have uh, my Chaming left. So that was a good game, the Silent R. Hope to maybe have a rematch soon because I got completely owned by Scizor. But good game. See you later.